How's it going guys? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the video. Now, I just want to say a few things about Scum in its current state, kind of where it is, where it's going, and things that I think that really need to be changed to help bring the player base back. Now, I'm not a developer. I am strictly a player who just likes to express my opinions and to help support the, de the development team in what they're doing, because from what I've seen as an early access development team with this game, they are really, really good. Like, it's incredible how far they've come and the engagement that they have with their community is absolutely incredible. And you've got, to, you've got to give it to them. You've got to give it to them. Not every developer, not all developers are like this. They listen, the dedication that they have to what they're doing is absolutely incredible. But I think sometimes as a player, I think we need to get our points across to say what we would like to see in the game and things that we would like to see taken out to make this game more fun. Now, just before I go on to anything else, I just want to say, I, th I personally think if we go in onto the fame points now, um, there's a big issue. There is a big issue. Sometimes, obviously, in its current state, there is no end game. We know that. But right now, there's no sense of completion. There's no sense of achievement when we're having firefights with other players taking over a base etc because they always spawn back this is a big big issue and i think that's something that pushes a lot of players away now i'm only going to mention this once in this video but this is something daisy got right all the way back from the mod when you die you spawn back to the coast or you spawn very far away because once you go into a fight you could spend hours going into a fight to 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 take over a base or a town or whatever but then you kill a player and he uses his fame points to spawn back on a squad within five seconds. There's no sense of achievement because you're not slowly taking out a player and thinking, right, that player is at least three sectors away. We know that now. Um, and we can finish off taking the rest of the team. This is a big issue with the game right now. And I think something like that, if that was taken out, would bring the players back. Spawning on squad should not be a thing. And for those who love PvP, then... This is a this is supposed to be a survival game. But right now it is a huge, huge mashup of PvP and little survival. Um, but then that at the same time that is down to the admins, because the admins have now got powers so they can set the loot on the servers, um, etc. There's loads of different things that the admins can do now and what they can see, they can see chat, they get logs, they get all this good stuff as well. Um, so the admins can see who's, you know, for example, for who's hacking, who's doing this or anything. We don't really get many hackers on the server that I play on um, because it's just it's just so well administrated and, 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 and people know what the admins know exactly what's going on, etc. So for me, that is a big, big problem with spawning back onto a squad member once you've once you've killed the enemy. You don't want to run him back within five seconds. Um, Obviously, that goes into the reanimation then. Does that player reanimate as a puppet, etc.? You know, that's something that the devs are going to have to work out. There's a lot of kinks here, guys, and they do really need to be straightened out. And I really do love this game, and I will support this all the way. But to make it more fun and more inviting for players that haven't played the game, I think these things need to be said. Um, now, obviously... In terms of the weapons and the gear, that's down to the admin side of things. If you find that a server's got too much gear and everyone's looted up like hell, the loot is too high. It should take a long time to get really good loot. There should be very little snipers on the server because at the end of the day, when you get your gear, you don't want to know that you can just go and loot up in another five minutes unless you've got a base that you've spent days working on, etc. And then that comes down to the lockpicks as well. There will be an update at some point where booby traps will go onto locks. So right now, people can pick three gold lock picks in 10 minutes. So your house isn't fully safe. This is the big problem. People want their bases to be extremely safe, and they're not right now. Um, obviously, within obviously it's early access. This is the development side. This is the whole point of these. Uh, the developers doing stuff like this, pushing it out there. We're testing it. People make videos on it. You get their opinions. They'll probably listen to this video and, and take something from it. Um, in their own way and this is all to do with early access this is this is what we want at the end of the day this is what the player base want now obviously where i was talking about the fame points before that is the biggest problem that i have seen in the game is where people are just constantly going back into a fight after you kill them there's no sense of accomplishment um, in that in that respect so going back to the weapons and the gear that's generally down to the server make sure you pick the right server 
and uh, obviously with the ping issues if you're getting lots of lag and desync that is down to the server you are playing on check your ping that is the most important thing when people say they're getting lag they're killing a player he's not dying they're always die the, the player shooting is always dying then check your ping make sure you're on a server that has less lag and that can be reduced by just choosing the correct server so obviously with everything that's going on in the game right now, they're producing a lot of content. They're updating every couple of weeks. I've never seen this in terms of early access before in my life. And that is honestly, I didn't see this with the aforementioned game. Um, but with Scum, they seem to be pushing out all the time. They've got this right, but there's a few things that need to be changed um, in that respect. Now, another thing that's really, really important is the INI file. Now, a lot of the players are going into the settings of the game in the documents in Windows folder somewhere, and they're changing the any files. And you can change these any files to do a lot of things. Now, these should be locked. They should not be allowed to be changed because it's not hacking, but if you're changing your any file in any way, shape, or form, you are using that to your advantage. So when you're in a firefight, you could see through bushes, you might be able to see through a building 300 meters away, you might see blue, blue flashing up, you might see someone hiding behind a tree. The any files need to be locked down. That is a huge thing as well, because that is something that players aren't going to stand for, and they will strictly just go to another game and they won't come back. Now, like I said before, I'm here to help. I want to try and help support this game as much as I can. There are things that need to be changed, which is what we're discussing now and i think these things should be taken quite seriously um and some of these should be implemented or taken out rather quickly um so i'm going to tweet this out i'm going to send this over to the developers hopefully they can have a look at this i would really like your guys opinion if you could put a message uh, or a comment down below in the description um and let us know how you're feeling about scum what you would like to change because at the end of the day we're the players and we want this to be fun for us this is what it's all about. They're working for the community, and we're here to give our opinions to help make the game better. And right now, it does feel more of a military sim other than a survival. And that's kind of where Armour went when with the DayZ mod. They started off as survival, but then when the mods came in, etc., it just went full military. And we want to see more survivor stuff in the game. We don't want to be running around with the hardest you know vests and kevlar helmets and stuff like this i know some of it goes back to the law but at the end of the day this is survival um just on an island basically and we don't want it being the next call of duty you know in an open world survival type simulator but but for me the fame is a big thing the big thing um that's something i wanted to emphasize now there's obviously a lot of updates coming new locations you know the female characters are going to be coming in um, new skills and everything else like that as well and there's there's a lot of things guys I could go through now I can't keep this video going too much longer but there is a lot of things that really do need to be changed and like I said I'm not going to be able to put everything out right now so please put the comments down below and we can discuss it in the comment section as well I will answer every comment that I get as best I can and we can sort of go from there um, but the, the things that I just mentioned here are the core things, uh, the core features that I think really do need to be changed or even just taken out completely. Because right now, there is no point in going into a firefight if you can just spawn back on a squad, mem a squad member. Yet, yeah, it has its advantages and disadvantages, but at the end of the day, people don't want that. They want to be able to just go into a firefight, kill people, and, you know, go from there. But in its current state right now, it's got a lot of work that needs to be done, but it is still incredibly fun to play, and I still play it on mostly a daily basis, and still have fun with it. It's it's such a great game, it really is, and when you get really involved with it, there's a there's a hell of a lot that goes on in the game, and you if if you find it boring, then find a squad member or something to to play with. But as I said, they're incredibly engaging. They've got a Discord. I'm going to link it down below. Um, down below uh, in in the description so you can join their discord they got loads of people there and a lot of the, the de developers and, and and all the moderators are there as well who are more than happy to help out with things or if something's glitched or something so yeah right that's me done <laughs> guys you stay safe take care please don't forget to hit that big juicy red button at the bottom as well to support the channel and uh, i'll catch you guys in the next one take care